and Merry Christmas. Welcome to Bonomo Winery. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what we're doing for the holidays and uh, getting in the holiday spirit. So take a walk with me and let's uh, meet some of the players and we'll be talking about today. We have uh, obviously the Christmas decorations that we've put together. We have the uh, fireplace that I've enjoyed myself by that you're all welcome to come sit at next time you're in town. And we're open, obviously, with the uh, COVID orders and all, but uh, it's warm and cozy and just a little cheer. But part of that cheer is making sure you have great food and great wine to go with it. So this man on my right, Adam, is our wonderful chef that's uh, putting everything together and pairing up this wonderful food with the uh, wonderful wine. And then a little further down the line is uh, our wonderful taster manager, Jill. She usually adds a little funny comments here and there just for the peanut gallery. So in case you need a little comic relief, we've got that going. <laughs> so as we move and try some different things, we uh, try to do um, what we've been doing here is doing some takeout meals. And with that, uh, it's a lot easier, obviously, if you're here in town. But uh, you can drive from anywhere and come see us. We'll make sure that we can fill up your car for you. But Adam's been putting this great stuff together, utilizing the sh um, kitchen, what we're doing. And I just wanted to show you what we did last week to uh, kind of get you excited for what we're doing this week. So last week, go ahead, Adam. Tell them what, tell them what you got there. So last week we had, uh, we start off our, our meals with a charcuterie board, and I think everybody's familiar with the charcuterie board, so we didn't build one of those uh, today. But what we had last week, and I tried to do a meat option as well as a vegetarian option, and I had some of the, the meat option left from last week. So we did a fettuccine Alfredo with confit chicken, some toast points in there, and I threw a little bit of kale just to give it a little bit of color, um, as well as uh, for dessert. Wait, what was the second option, Chef? Oh, excuse me, the second option. Last week, yeah. Now you put me on the spot. <laughs> Tell us about it, Joe. We had a risotto. We had a really nice risotto with um, <laughs> with squash, and I did some crisp sage right over top, uh, as well as plenty of cheese. So it was very decadent, really nice uh, risotto. Um, and then for our third course, we did a New York style cheesecake, and I did a little chocolate mousse on there. The crust is a graham cracker crust with walnuts in it, and there's a raspberry uh, reduction. And I took a little bit of our Chardonnay and reduced that down to add a little bit of oomph to the, um, to the raspberry sauce. And we're gonna feature that again this week. So if you like the looks of that, we'll be having that once again for dessert. Tom, now, did you get a chance to try that? Well, you know, I'm not really a big sweet guy. Okay, I'm sweet, but I'm not liking a lot of sweets, right? So I did have some of that today. I had a Made some fresh. It's, I mean, you make this stuff right out there. All the ingredients going together, you know. So and it matches your sweater. Matches my sweater as well. Week, yeah. But I had it, and the way the flavors are lined up with each other, um, nothing's overpowering, but it works out perfectly and uh, pairs wonderfully with what we're doing uh, with the wine as well. Yeah. It's so delicious. nice job. Thank you. It's delicious. It's a true cheesecake. It is. It's it from is. someone who says that he's not good with baking. I'm a terrible baker. He's, he's very good. The cheesecake, as someone who loves cheesecake, New York cheesecake, oh. that is delicious cheesecake. Fair enough. So. Fair enough. So, uh, Not that you're cheesy or anything, but go no, ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, what meal would be complete without wines? And so, um, so for our menu this week, Chef, mm -hmm. what are we... So, again... Bonobo signature charcuterie board to start. Yep. And then what are our two entrees that people can order for this week? So we're gonna do a, a hearty beef stew and we're kind of doing a little bit of a play on that. Um, we have a shoulder tender or a bistro steak that we're going to be putting uh, with the stew. So it's not gonna be um, just shoulder chuck or anything like that with cubed meat. We're actually gonna have a pretty nice steak right over top that we're going to sear off to order. And we're also going to have Halloumi well, tacos. 
to start, to go back for a second, to with the hearty beef. Sure, yeah. Obviously, we'd want to pair the BDX because a hearty yep. beef stew is going to need a hearty wine. That's right. And our BDX is certainly fits that bill. Absolutely. And then for the vegetarian option, we're doing halloumi cheese tacos. Um, halloumi... Explain that. Explain that to me. I don't want to hear what that is. So uh, halloumi cheese is kind of it's a nice dense cheese, and it really grills and sears well, so it has a really nice mouthfeel to it. Okay. Um, I would say that the density is somewhat similar to like a, a feta, but it doesn't have that crumbly uh, texture to it. It has more of a string or a chew to it once you do grill it up. So it's a really pretty nice uh, substitute for meat. Okay. And we're going to take some chimichurri and a little bit of uh, tomatoes and make a really nice taco. We'll do some Spanish rice and some refried re black beans with that as well. So it'll be a really nice offering. And with that, we are going to pair it with our Chardonnay C, which is our unoaked Chardonnay. And why um, would you do that, Joe? Well, Todd, uh, the flavor <laughs> of the Mimi cheese tacos and more importantly, um, you know, the spice and the beans and everything else play really nicely with the freshness and the depthiness that you get from the Chardonnay seed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we've got the Chardonnay select out here. You could just drink that, you know, I think with the charcuterie course and with the dessert course as well. You know, Absolutely. It's definitely got those really nice notes of a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of caramel, which will play nicely with the cheesecake in particular, so. Absolutely. You know, just kind of continuing the tradition of loving food and wine and food and wine together here at Bonova Winery. How can people order this delicious That's a really meal? Good question, Christy. So we promise that we will have an online order system up soon, but for now, um, you can call the tasting room, and that number is, anyone have it on here? 2 It's 231-282-9463. So call the tasting room, let us know what you'd like, so you can get um, any of the items a la carte, if you're just kind of in the mood for or want extra cheesecake, um, you can order any of the items a la carte, so the cheese and charcuterie, um, the beef stew or the tacos, and the cheesecake. Um, or we're offering a three course meal for two, which is everything. So it's one charcuterie board, which feeds two people. It's two entrees. So if you really want to try both the beef stew and the halloumi tacos, you can get one you of each. One, absolutely. Um, and then two slices of the cake for dessert. Um, and that is just $62 for wine club members and $68 for um, everybody else. Um, that's a steal for a home cooked three course meal. Hot um, and ready. Hot and ready. Prepare it right then. Yep. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, Friday, Saturday pickup is at 5 or 6 p.m. Sunday pickup is at 4 p.m. So just call the tasting room, place your order. Um, you come to the winery, we bring it out to you. It's that simple. You don't have to cook. And especially getting ready for the holidays when people are going to be cooking, you know, you might want to take the weekend off, relax. So. Speaking of the holidays, who's coming to town this weekend, oh, Todd? Oh, I mean, I'll be here anyway. But um, we are having Santa show up. Santa is going to be here Saturday for our Winter Wonderland Extendo, meaning we're having it all the time. But he's going to be here from 1 to 3. Um, we'll be practicing safe distance and COVID rules, but uh, we have a great sleigh, a uh, traditional sleigh down there where he's going to be sitting there. You can stand in front of him and get your picture just like you're hugging on him anyway. Um, and Sam's bringing his special mailbox, so if any oh. kiddos want to bring your letters for Santa, they drop them in the mailbox. There will, yeah, there will be a mailbox so you can put your uh, letters in there. Not just kids. Not just kids. If adults want to put your letters in there, go ahead. We'll be having our uh, little special drinks that we have. Boozy hot cocoa and our uh, warm whiskey smash. We'll have the fire pits, fire the heaters. Pits, heaters. We'll have the soups. soups. Jeff's yeah. cooking up some more delicious soups. So. We have a chili and baked potato soup this weekend. Loaded baked potato soup. Loaded. Yeah. Loaded. Cheese, bacon, all the good stuff. So, you know, weekend before Christmas, we're still working outside. What better way to enjoy it than to come out, enjoy all the Christmas lights and holiday decor. Get some, your uh, photos. Yep, photos of Santa, warm beverages, warm boozy beverages. And then pick and up your dinner. And pick up your dinner, yeah. If you don't have to worry about cooking dinner when you get home, you can just call us the day before that we do need a 24-hour heads What was that so, number again? 231-282-9464.
9463. A little, no, uh, maybe not, uh, oh. just a little tidbit of a fact for you. I know. Okay, it's actually 282Y. Y. So that's easy to remember, 231, 282Y, and uh, you can get right back to it. <laughs> so you said that else if you need to. But uh, tell you what, uh, we're looking forward to everyone going back and visiting us, um, but letting you know we have this great food that's always prepared by Adam. Uh, we have a great uh, tasting room running, taken care of by Jill, and I'm just here for comic relief. But thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope to see you here soon. Cheers. And, uh, cheers. cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.